So the first visit of the year for the Blackhawks to the Met Center. Darren Pang trying to win his first game on the road. He has yet to win on the road, but he's had good success of late. He certainly has played well. Pang in his 16th game with a 4.09 goals against average. Had an excellent weekend, giving up three goals in two games. And Kerry Taco gets the start. Taco in his 16th game as well with a 3.88 goals against average. 5-6-2 his win-loss record. Andy Mitten. Here's the draw. Laird back into the center ice area. Frazier stealing it there. Gains the line. Walks in front center. And a shot. They score! Kurt Frazier made the play. And Mark LeVar finished it off. LeVar gives the Hawks a 1-0 lead. The key, obviously, is getting off to a good start. They were successful breaking an eight-game losing streak by getting off to a good start against Toronto. Kurt Fraser gets by the defender, gets it over to LeVar. LeVar puts it in. Ron Wilson victimized by Kurt Fraser. Fraser with a nice pass over the outstretched stick of the defenseman, and LeVar puts it in. Fraser putting the big paw in the jersey of Ron Wilson to catch up with him. Got by him and made a nice play to set up LeVar. Larmer on it there. Steve Larmer three on three into the North Star zone. Roll it in front. Here's Ludzik. And a save by Taco, who then paid the price as Ludzik ran him over. And the North Star is able to cover it up. Well, Ludzik and Larmer, dynamite in junior, dynamite in the American Hockey League, playing together. Larmer with a good play up the middle. Ludzik cuts in front of him. Larmer fakes like he's going to go to the middle, draws both defenders to him, gets it to Ludzik. Ludzik cuts in. Tries to shovel it over Taco, is unable to do so. As he continued on to get his own rebound, he flattened Taco. The puck lay under Taco and didn't cross the line, but Ludzik kept going forward, and Taco had to be very fortunate to keep that from going across the line as he almost sat on the puck. Roberts shot it to the far side, Broughton. Neil Broughton put it to Rouse at center, and Bob Rouse shoots it in. Darren Pang cleared it to the far side. LeVar, he lost the handle. Broughton along back and they score! It may have been tipped in. It was shoveled in front by Broughton. Cicerelli cruising through the slot. I think got a piece, and it's 1-1. Well, Darren Pang got it to the winger, LeVar. The boards, the square corners here makes it difficult for you to shoot it around the boards. He got it behind LeVar. Tough pass to accept. He tried to shovel it out front on the backhand. Broughton intercepted. Got it out towards the front of the hawk net. Cicerelli hanging in behind. Deflected it. This backhand attempt hit the shaft of the stick of Cicerelli and went through the legs of Pang to tie the game. For Minnesota, now the faceoff at the hawk line. Taken by Ron Wilson. Tees it up. Shoots one. Blocked at the defense. Right to Broughton. Rolled it in front. Didn't get much wood on it, though. And Pang able to cover it up. Now Ludzik gave Broughton a whack. Well after the whistle. And a scuffle in behind the hog net. Everybody grabbing one another. Now Al Tour battling away with Mackey. They wrestle in. Mackey wants to go with Al Tour. They have one another in a bear hug at the moment. Everybody else is separated. Now Mackey trying to get the right hand free, having difficulty doing it. Everybody else is pulled apart. Still Mackey and Tour trying to gain an advantage. Neither one able to do it yet. And it's a wrestling match for now. Well, Linesman still backing off for some reason. They're both exhausted, it appears. And now they come in there. It's tied up by McCray. Right, yeah, McCray dug it loose to Ruskowski. And his pass stolen by Vi. Rick Five to Vince Allette over the line. Left it for Stapleton. A long backhander tip. They score! Rick Five, a nifty deflection as he cruised up the slot. An innocent looking shot from Stapleton, and Five redirected it two to one in favor of the Hawks. Rick Five started it deep in his own zone, got it to Vince Allette. Vince Allette crosses the line, drops it to Stapleton. Stapleton with a backhand attempt toward the net. 
Five cuts in front, deflects it right through the legs of Taco. Five with a nice effort for his 24th of the year. Some nice passing. Vince Let to Stapleton. Stapleton back to Vive. It's 2 1 Hawks. Counting tonight in the last 14 games, Rick Vive has played 13 goals. Playfair fakes the shot, gets it into Larmer. Larmer just with the quick wrist shot, hit the crossbar, had his arms up, thought it was in. He's arguing the fact that it was in, but it hit where the crossbar and the post meet and did not go in. Nyland had a chance to go forward with it. He reversed his movement, went back into his corner, and Ben Wilson got in front of Cicerelli. Cicerelli taking a dive. Interference penalty for Ben Wilson at 13.58. Good work by the Blackhawks here, getting the puck loose. Bukestad. And Broughton dealing with two Hawk players. Bob McGill wins the battle. Bukestad all over the place. Bukestad fell awkwardly and limps off to the North Star locker room. Textbook one on one situation. Bergevin, the stick between Acton's legs, gets the left arm extended, knocks him down. And he gets a penalty for tripping. Brutal call. That's good defense. What's the matter with that? Boy, oh boy, Koharski called it from 80 feet away on the other side of the ice. A good no call that time by Koharski, although the Hawks still have had a disadvantage in what couldn't, couldn't have been called. Now in the Hog zone, Cicerelli cuts in front, turning, shooting, he scores! What a goal by Dino Cicerelli! Now a fight in front of the net. Ben Wilson and Basil McCray. McCray getting the short end of it as Ben Wilson has the right hand loose. Wilson pushing McCray's helmet up so he can get it at the back of his head, and now down they go. But meanwhile, what a goal by Dino Cicerelli. Acrobatically spinning around in the Hawks slot to fire it in to tie the game. Well, after the Hawks missed a great chance, had good pressure. Taco made a great save on Larmer as he got around both defensemen. Taco made a great save on the right pad. The puck ends up in the corner. Cicerelli gets around Nyland. Nyland's chasing him. He comes out front. Looks like he's going to shoot the backhand. Turns to his forehand and slips it through the legs of Tang, who was down. Great individual effort by Dino Cicerelli. His 19th of the year, and Broughton dumps it into the corner. Cicerelli ducks under Nyland as he reached with the left arm. Cicerelli quickly turns, comes out front, takes the backhander, turns, and goes to his forehand. And then Ben Wilson and Basil McCray are, get their gloves and sticks up, and McCray wishes he hadn't have done that because Ben Wilson got a little upset and just manhandled McCray. That Cicerelli goal from Broughton at 16.48. So the game tied at two. Now a long feed to Bellows. Brian Bellows two on two over the line. Chris crossing, shoots one. It's blocked at the defense. Bellows again, a shot, and a save. Rebound, Pang! He made a good stop on Bellows and a better one on Lawton to hold the North Stars off. Lawton snuck in behind the defenseman to get the rebound and Pang with good saves. He had to be very alert. Lawton didn't get much on it. He just advanced it. The last shift prior to the two on one, Rick Vibe let one go. Taco with a good save, just getting a piece of it with the right skate. And now to the near point, Brook. Near circle to Lawton, a shot didn't get through. Rebound, Pang the save. Rebound, chopped in front, a big scramble. Everybody battling, the puck is frozen. And Darren Pang holds off the North Star attack. Keith Acton. Now carries it over the Chicago line against Rick Wilson around him behind the net. Acton hangs on, centered it, Musil right in, and a save by Pang. And the Hawks clear it to center. Musil all alone right in the slot, and Pang stoned him. 
Back behind the Hawk net now, Savard. Dennis Savard flying to center. He carries it over the line, centered it. Here's a shot and a save by Taco. Rebound, bouncing around. Taco trying to freeze it. He can't. They score! Savard! He picked up the rebound after the North Stars failed to freeze it. And after a big scramble, Savard stuffed it in. Three to two, Hawks. Well, Mike Stapleton really kept the play alive. Koharski looked like he might blow the whistle a little early as the puck was not frozen, but Savard carried it in, dumped it to Mike Stapleton. Great pass. Stapleton continued on. He's down on one leg. Keeps hacking away. The puck squirts loose. The North Stars trying to put it under Taco. They failed to do so. The defenseman and Stapleton were on top of Taco. He was unable to move. He lost sight of the puck. The North Stars try to give it to Taco so he can freeze it. It squirts loose and Savard puts it in just barely as it hit the stick. And Savard, jubilant, finally scoring in this game to make it 3-2. Taken by Giles. Third Giles to McCray. McCray feeds Broughton. He carries it over the line. Rolled into the far side. Cicerelli fires. And it's a rebound. Hang rebound. Hit the goal post. And the whistle stops the play. The Hawks get a break. The puck was loose all the way. But referee Koharski lost sight of the puck after Pang made a great save and then got help from the post. Comes up with two illustrious saves. One on Cicerelli as the Hawk defense back, backed in. And uh, as he fell backwards, made a save on Broughton on the rebound. Now here's a scrap at center ice. McCray going after Mackey. And down they go. That's Graham, not McCray. Dirk Graham and Dave Mackey tangled at center. Couple of punches either way, and then down they went. Well, Graham caught Mackey with a right, and that dazed Mackey, but both players go to the penalty box to probably get offsetting fighting penalties. He shot it behind the Hawk goal. Now Roberts out of the corner, centered one, bounced it, brought it, bang! Boy, that one was about six inches from trickling into the net. It bounced up high, and Pang moving from post to post had to be very careful. Cicerelli draws a crowd behind the net, gets it out to Roberts. Roberts takes a look. He tries to pass it. It hits a skate. It's behind Pang, and Pang is able to reach up and make sure that it doesn't go in. We're into the final minute of the third period. 3-2 Hawks. Here comes Broughton to center. Gains the line. Broughton to his backhand. Shoot! Pang the save. Rebound centered in front. Deflected away from Cicerelli. Five chasing and a goal for the open net. Five is in. Hawks win. Hawks win. 40 seconds to go. It's 4-2 to two Chicago as Rick Vive with an empty netter for his second of the game. Well, Vive could really sniff that. He turned the Jets on to get to that loose puck. Broughton tried his best. He went one-on-one, -on -one, went to the backhand. Pang kicked it in the corner. Puck came deep into the slot, deflected at the line. And Rick Vive just caught up with a loose puck and pounced on it. Put it into the empty net for his 25th goal of the year, his second of the game. You know, I think that's the definition of a sniper. Even when Rick Vive has an empty net, he still picks the corner. <laughs> Looks like a dog going after a pork chop there. Now... Here the North Stars trying to move in. McClellan centered one, deflected to the line. Giles a long shot, deflected just wide. And the Hawks able to clear it into the North Star zone. It trickles toward the empty net. Hit the goal post. But the Hawks win. At long last on the road, we can say it. Hawks win. Darren Pang, another strong effort, gets his first road victory of his career. The Blackhawks break a 12-game road losing streak, a 15-game winless streak on the road, and the Hawks have swept the first three games of the series against Minnesota. In the third period, two Chicago goals to provide the victory. Savard, 16th of the season, unassisted at 12.06, and Vive to put the icing on the cake, his second tonight, 25th of the year into an empty net. That one also unassisted at 19.20.
shots on goal in the